Human chorionic gonadotropin, better known as HCG, is a hormone made during pregnancy and also rumored to be a very effective weight loss method. In this video, I'm going to review not only the original research from the 1950s by Dr. Albert Simeon, but other clinical trials as well on the HCG diet protocol to see if it might work or not. Let's take a look at the research and see what we can discover. So here is the original paper on the HCG diet, which was published by Dr. Albert Simeon in 1954 in the very prestigious journal called The Lancet. In that paper, he maintained that giving people 125 units of HCG along with a 500 calorie a day diet contained within two meals promoted safe weight loss of between a half a pound and 1.3 pounds per day without people feeling hungry and without any problems, including no fatigue, even when people performed a full day's work. He further states that he's treated over 500 people with the HCG diet over the course of 20 years, and it worked in both men and women of all ages, even in women whose ovaries were removed. He goes on to say that just as an experiment, when Dr. Simeon's replaced HCG with saline, which in theory shouldn't do anything, he states that the people started feeling fatigued and hungry after about three days. However, as soon as he replaced the saline with HCG again, their hunger decreased, their energy levels improved, even though they were still only eating 500 calories each day. Anyway, you slice this, Dr. Simeon's statements are impressive to say the least. Now, all that is really interesting, but our story with the HCG diet doesn't end there. Let's talk about the other research on the HCG diet. So a few years later, back in 1963, Craig and Associates tested the Simeon's protocol in 20 overweight women. The study lasted for 45 days, and the women were split up into two groups. One group received daily shots of HCG, again, 125 units, the same amount as used in the Simeon protocol. And then the other group received a placebo shot each day. In addition, all the women ate 550 calories a day which were contained in two meals. So very similar to the Simeon HGG protocol. The women could also drink as much water or tea or coffee as they liked, as long as there was no sugar in the beverages they were consuming. So what happened in this very interesting study? So it's reported that the women who were getting the HCG injections did not lose any more weight than the women who were simply getting a placebo shot and consuming a very low calorie diet. Fast forward several more years in 1973, Asher and Harper tested again the HCG diet, this time in 40 overweight women, and the investigation lasted for six weeks. I will link to all these studies in the description box below, so check them out if you want to do your own research. So like before, the women in this investigation were given daily HCG injections. Again, we're looking at 125 units each day or a placebo, which in this case was saline. Again, that shouldn't do anything. Also, just as in the Simeon protocol, all the women consumed a 500 calorie a day diet. Results from this investigation showed that women who were getting HCG shots lost more weight than those who took placebo shots. Now in the study, it is also pointed out that one of the researchers who took part in the clinical work also had an active weight loss clinic that used HCG for weight reduction. And while that might be considered a problem, it's also stated that neither doctor knew who was getting the human chorionic gonadotropin injections, and also neither doctor took part in giving the women the HCG shots either. All that said, this is indeed a win for those in the HCG diet camp. Now, it was because of the findings by that previous study that other researchers decided to test the HCG diet for themselves. In this investigation, they also used a similar protocol as the previous study and tested the HCG diet in 51 young women. The study lasted just 32 days. The women were split into two groups. Again, one group gets shots of HGC, again, 125 units, and the other gets saline as a placebo. And just as before, the women are also consuming a very low calorie, 500 calorie a day diet and instructed to drink eight to 10 glasses of water a day. What's interesting here is even though they essentially followed the same protocol, these researchers found that the HCG diet did not help the women lose any more weight. Women getting HCG injections did not lose any more weight than those who took placebo shots. It's also stated that the women 
getting the human chorionic good anotropin shots did not lose more weight in certain areas of their body, such as their hips and their thighs. Moving on to the next study, we have this paper where 202 people were split into either an HCG diet group, again, getting 125 units of HGC each day or saline placebo injections. They, again, ate 500 calories a day and received lectures on proper eating and behavior modification twice a week for the length of the study. Following this investigation, the researchers likewise found that HCG shots did not lead to any greater weight loss or weight maintenance than those who took placebo shots. In the words of these researchers, quote, we could not demonstrate any objective indicator that HCG was beneficial in promoting weight loss, nor was there any significant difference in fat loss or body circumference measurements. So according to this study, HCG was a bit of a dud. But we're not done yet. Here's another study from the year 1977 where researchers conducted a very small study, only six people, but they were hospitalized obese women. In other words, they were in the hospital, so they were locked down essentially and ate what was given to them and couldn't cheat at all. The women were only given 500 calories a day and injected daily with 125 units of HGC. The study, however, only lasted 30 days. All the women were given the exact same diet. The only difference was that some took a placebo and some got shots of HGC. According to these authors, the weight loss between both groups was nearly identical. Measurements of the circumference of the chest, the waist, the hip, the thighs also showed no differences between the placebo takers and those who were getting shots of human chorionic gonadotropin. Now that same year, Greenway and Associates performed another experiment where they tested the HCG diet for six weeks in 40 healthy women, and they ranged in age from 20 to 40 years old. They were broken up into two groups. Again, one group gets HCG, another group gets placebo injections. The study lasts six weeks, although I will point out one drawback to this study is that it's not really specified how much HCG the women were getting in this study, so that might be a drawback. However, if we look at the results of this investigation, the people getting daily HCG injections did not lose any more weight than the women who received placebo shots. Likewise, there were no differences in body composition or mood in those who took the HCG injections either. The study concludes with these words, we feel that the 20 year history of the use of HGC in the treatment of obesity should come to an end because injections of placebo appear to be equally effective in all respects. However, the studies did not end there. They actually continued, which brings us to this study from 1983, where the researchers essentially reviewed six previous double-blind placebo-controlled trials of the HCG diet. Their results also included that only one study in their review, one I previously mentioned, indicated that HCG injections led to greater weight loss, more so than a placebo. Now, Several years later, if we go to 1990, the doctors there conducted yet another investigation where they looked at 40 overweight women for six weeks. They did before and after tests of their body weight, their body circumferences, and even their level of hunger, and reported that the HCG diet showed no advantages over those of the placebo in respect to weight loss, hunger level, or waist circumference changes. Again, here they're showing HGC did not work. And in the last study I'll call your attention to here, this one came out in 1995, it's a meta-analysis of 24 previously published studies of the HGC diet. A meta-analysis is basically a study of studies where the researchers lump together a bunch of previous investigations to see if they can basically find the big picture. Well, they concluded here that there there is, quote, no scientific evidence that the HCG diet is effective in the treatment of obesity. Now, here is a summary of all the studies I just outlined here. And as you can see, besides the original report from Dr. Simeon, only one study appears to show that the HCG diet helped people lose more weight. So what are my thoughts on this? Well, looking at all of the different studies, I just don't see much evidence for the HGC diet or the Simeon protocol 
as it was related originally by Dr. Simeon back in the 1950s. In spite of the research, I do know that this is a forever popular weight loss protocol, and there's most likely even weight loss clinics out there that use human chorionic gonadotropin to promote weight loss. But after looking at all the research, I have to wonder why that is. So if you're using the HGC protocol to lose weight, convince me that it really works. Leave a comment below and let me know what your thoughts are. And if you're on the fence about all this, I hope this quick video helped you. And until next time, take care out there.